That's extraordinary. I mean, that man has demolished the place. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, I would like to... I get to keep it. It's yours. You may take that home and have it bronzed for your mantelpiece. You always work this hard? Absolutely. You got to... Tell you what, I, yeah, you've got to catch your breath. You wait right here, Robert. Hang on to that. I, I can't ask him to talk in this condition. What's your name, sir? Tim. Tim's nice to have you here. What is your name, sir? Brian Hitt. Thank you, Brian, very much. You, sir? Kim Bullard. Nice to have you aboard. Ben Huff. Thank you very much. Are you all right now? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you always work that hard. Absolutely. You gotta... I read your biography, and I, uh, let, me, let me just uh, have your attention for half a second, because 50 people a week must ask me, how do I make a break in the music business? And you did it, you said, in your biography by jumping up and down on people's desks and making them listen to your stuff. Is I, that really true? It's absolutely true. I gave great A&R, which is artist relations. So <laughs> those are the people who you, you jump on their desks, they're always out to lunch and never answer your phone calls, those kind of people. Are you a tenacious person? You hang in there? Absolutely. Are you kidding? Absolutely. Yeah. You are obviously talented. The combination of the two is the thing. It's like Winston Churchill said, you never give up. You just hang in there. Uh, Another line in your, in your background material said you wrote for a publisher. What does that mean? Uh, when I was in New York in about 1978, I worked for a publishing company there. And for some people it was good, but for me it got a little bit too much like Detroit, you know? It was like assembly you, line. You sit in a room and you write? You said, well, I got to stay at home, but you'd bring them in. And if I had two or three songs done, like, every two weeks I got to go into the studio, so it gave me a good experience that way. What was Stallone's reaction to that song? You wrote this for the film. Yes, Did he like it the first time he saw it and heard it? He loved it. He didn't know where he was going to use it right away. Originally, the place where you see it, he was going to use a ballad, and then he was in his car, and it happened, I swear to God, just like this. And he put his tape in, and when he was driving around, and the whole thing came to him. And he, did, he really did a great job with it because uh, he paid attention a lot to the lyric, you know? It's and the beginning of a great thing for you. What's going to happen the rest of 86? Uh, 86, um, we're going out on tour in May. Got now I'm coming out March 13th, so that's good. We'll look forward to it. Thank great you thing. so very much. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Follow me, here's Falco. Das war ein Fett, er war ein Wettbewerb, er war ein Rocky Dog. Und alles wurde heute gekämpft, 